this short video, we'll be looking at graphing data points using the KCO graphics calculator, in particular, this make model right here. Now just pretend that we finished our science experiment and we have two variables that we wish to plot against each other. Our x variables and our y variables. Our independent and our dependent. We want to put them on a graph that looks similar to this. And we wish to find the line of best fit. This can be done using this calculator. So to begin, press the on button, which is located right here. Press the menu button right there. And it will show you all the options that the cal calculator has to offer. This will be our cursor. Navigate until you find stat. Once it is highlighted, press the enter button right here. As you can see, there are data values already plotted in. We do not want these, so you can get rid of these if this is the case on your calculator. Press the delete button, and the ones that are highlighted will be deleted. If it is taking a while, there is a way around it. These are the options, the tabs. The buttons below are the corresponding tabs. We want to find the tab that says Del A on it. There is not one that says it there, so press the arrow and go across. There we go. Del A. F4. Press F4. It will give you the options to delete the, the list. Press F1 for yes. There we go. Go across and do the same thing. To delete the whole list, press Del A, F4, F1 for yes. There we go. Now before we plot in our points, we have our X and our Y. We'll put them in the list, but sometimes we don't know which list corresponds to the X and the Y. So to check this, go to the tab that says graph. Go across, graph, press F1. Press the settings, F6. Scroll down until it says X list. List one, what this means is that in our list one, we will be putting our X values and scroll down one more time. List two, our Y values, easy done. Let's go back. To go back, press exit. These data values we want to put in there now. So our X values will go in our list one, our Y values in our list two. So our X values, one, one, two, three, three. So one, enter, always press enter after you do it. One, two, three, three, four, five. Those are our values. And you can see we have seven entries. Now we've finished with our X, let's put in our Y. So go across to the next list. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Easy. One, enter, two, enter, three, Enter four, five, six, seven. Easy done. What we have on this sheet is now in the graphics calculator, so we can get rid of that. At this point, we want to graph the data points. Press graph one. Our points are now on the Cartesian plane. Now, if we want to find the line of best fit, calculate F1. As it is a linear equation, we want to just look at x, plain x, press F2. The equation we want is ax plus b, F1. As you can see, this is now the line of best fit with the numbers that we can plot in. We want to draw the line of best fit. As you can see, the r squared value is 0.96. That is a relatively high correlation. So we'd imagine that when we do draw the line of best fit near the plots, the, plot, the dotted plots will be very close to the line of best fit. So press F6, and there we go. There is our line of best fit, all our data values. Thank you for watching.